Apart from the fact you're doing my head in because oh, you're on, you're sorry. in two that I'm watching, and it takes me at least five minutes to switch characters in I've my got, head. I've got a slightly longer beard than Apple Tree. <laughs> that's right. That's, if, that's if, you, if there's any doubt, okay, you can kind of go by that. Well, the and trouble tank is, tops. With... don't have any tank. <laughs> Colin doesn't have any tank tops. <laughs> um, the trouble is with uh, with Unforgotten is that uh, you know we. I don't want to know. No. I don't, really don't want to know. And you say you're in a really tricky situation. The episode's under embargo. You can't say anything. It's, yeah, a lot. A lot is revealed. You find out. You find out why we, uh, how we know each other, which is revealed at the end of Ep Three. Yeah. Which uh, that was as far when I met for the job. That was as many episodes as they gave me. So I'd kind of read up to the end of Ep Three, oh, going. Nice. <gasps> You're where we are now. Uh, yeah, well, no, a little bit earlier. You're, you're at five. You're just five, now at five now. Six, now. Six, but, six, but, six, um, oh, God. But, uh, but, yeah, so I kind of came into the meeting going, what happens? How do they know? And Chris wouldn't tell me a thing. He was kind but of really... He kept it really under... Is it true, though, that one of the first things you shot, or, in fact, the first thing you shot, was a major monologue for tonight? For tonight, yeah. That was my very first day. My, I really drooped when I saw that on the schedule. I was like, okay, right. It's about, it's about three or four pages long. Oh my god! Mostly just me speaking. Yeah. And, and so, so this that, is um, incredibly revealing. This monologue. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, it's a hard watch tonight, but it's, it's incredible what he's done. The, the way he ties together the strands of each of our stories is, you know, it will kind of shock and amaze us. And I can't, I, I can't, I'm watching this and I cannot bear, I can't bear it if they lose that girl. I, ju I just can't bear it. I know, and I don't want to know either. Okay. But that's all I just keep thinking and I just keep thinking about that child that she's finally got this family that really loved yeah. her. He might lose that family. Yeah, he, he has, uh, the issues that, you know, the, the, the keying the car in, in episode yeah. one, I think that was. Mm. That kind of sparked off the whole thing, you know, mm. that kind of um, uh, set him on the traje trajectory he finds himself on now, that kind of, you know, downward slope. Um, so it's kind of hard to redeem yourself, you know, from, especially when you kind of get involved with the blackmail and they decide to go with the blackmail yeah, and you're yeah, like, you oh, oh, you shouldn't, you know, go to the police, go to the police, yeah. whatever, you know. Yeah. But he's a criminal lawyer. He's a cri I know he should I know. know better. If anyone should, it should be him. <laughs> but, um, you know, it wouldn't be very good drama. No, of course not. But you not. think the, re the final reveal is not one that's easy to work out? Um, I would say that it's been interesting reading uh, social media um, over the last little while because people have been desperately trying to kind of work, work out. out exactly how the three of them are tied, yeah. four of them are tied together. It's uh, what I love also is the fact that you say working with Nicola and working with Sanjeev is they're, 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 it's so funny and you have so much fun when you're doing it. Yeah, I mean massively inappropriate, of course, but essential for something so serious. I, I think you have to you have to let off steam when you're when you're really delving into what we are. You will discover tonight we are delving into. You, there has to be a, a you know, a, an off switch and a kind of chance where you go, oh my, yeah. we're, we're, uh, I'm in, I started rehearsals on Monday. That's a big one to bring back, isn't it's it? It's fantastic though. It was so, oh my God, what a lot of fun that was doing. Um, we did the pilot last year. Yeah. And I'd never done live studio audience before. So there's a multi-cam set up kind of like here, you know, and, and an audience behind it. And, uh, and it's, it's kind of, it's a weird hybrid of theater and TV and you don't really know kind of how to, uh, pitch it at first, but watching you know people like Kevin Bishop, who's just a master at yeah. it, you know, you kind of very, I uh, very quickly learned, you know, okay, I watched him closely for ten minutes, thought, right, I'll do that, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was great, what a lot of fun. So I'm um, and, and the scripts, you know, with you they know, have to be good, they don't? do. If they you're going to bring courage back, it's got to be funny.